Today, I'm going to show you another work, still with the use of the colored bead bars, the number cards, and the basic operation symbols. But this time, I have here a prepared envelope. So this one says set A. So the last time we worked with this one, we talked about the commutative law of multiplication. So when we say commutative law, we are reminded that the numbers can change places just as you can when you commute to school on a bus. So now let's see what's inside this envelope. So inside I have here seven. I have two beads. I have seven and three. Okay, let's see what we can do with this one. So I'm going to add these two numbers. Now since seven plus three is already a set, I'm going to put them inside a bracket. And then we're going to take 7 plus 3 7 times. So let's read the problem first. We have 7 plus 3 taken 7 times. Now I'm going to take each bead by a certain number. So I will start with 7 and I'm going to take 7 seven times so we have seven taken one time seven taken two times seven taken three times seven taken four times seven taken five times seven taken six times seven taken seven times now we are done taking seven seven times now let's take three seven times so we have three taken one time three taken two times three taken three times three taken four times three taken five times three taken six times and three taken seven times so what is 7 taken 7 times? We have 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, and 49. So that's 49. So 10, 20, 30, 40, and 9. 7 taken 7 times is 49. Now what is 3 taken 7 times? Let's count. We have 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 3 taken 7 times is 21. So that's 10, 20, one oops 21 now we have here an addition symbol which tells us that we need to put numbers together so we will put these two numbers together so let's put 49 and 21 together now let's count how many do we have in all we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 69, plus 1, 70. So this is 70 in all. I'm going to change the loose beads to fixed beads. So I need a 10. So here is our answer. So 7 plus 3 taken 
7 times is equal to 70. Okay, now let's try another example. Let's keep this one first. Seven and three. Now I have here another set A. So let's try working with this one. Five and four is already a set, so I'm going to put them inside a bracket. Or parenthesis and then we're gonna take it five times let's read our problem we have five plus four taken five times or times five now again we need to take the bead or each bead five times now let's take five five times 5 taken 1 time, 5 taken 2 times, 5 taken 3 times, 5 taken 4 times, and 5 taken 5 times. Now let's take 4 5 times. So that's 4 taken 1 time, 4 taken 2 times, 4 taken 3 times. 4 taken 4 times, and 4 taken 5 times. Now, what is 5 taken 5 times? Let's count. We have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So, 5 taken 5 times is 25. Now, what is 4 taken 5 times? We have 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. That's 20. 10, 20. Now again, here is an addition symbol that tells us we need to put the numbers together. So let's put them together. So, in all, we have here 10, 20, 30, 45. We have 45. So, 5 plus 4 times 5 is equal to 45. So, you may work with this one anytime you like. I'll show you how to keep. 